Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. So this is the second video of the Express Redux and React video tutorial series. That's a long title, but I, I feel like I have to include all three in order for people to actually find this series because uh, nobody's going to find it otherwise. All right, so in the last video, we went ahead and we installed React, um, not React, God damn it. Uh, we installed Express and, uh, and we did all the process of setting up our templates and our CSS. So if you guys are just starting on this tutorial, I recommend you back up onto the last one before continuing on. Um, so this video is gonna be a lot more about the install stuff. And uh, we have this directory where everything sits. And inside of our public, we have this JS folder. I wanna be able to open this up because we're gonna to need to do quite a bit of installation inside of here. And um, first things first though, we need, in order for uh, to use modern React and Redux, we have to have module loading, which is, by, it's by default, it comes from like the common JS module loading, but it's about, being able to break up your JavaScript files into multiple files and then having something like Webpack be able to import them as you need them. And um, it's, it's definitely a necessary step and um, confusing to beginners, but definitely a necessary step that we have to do. So let's go ahead and CD into our public folder and then go into the JS folder. And in here is where we're gonna install the um, actual Actually, it won't even matter. Um, you know what, I'm gonna back this up. I wanna put everything inside the root directory here. So we're gonna create one major um, app.js folder. And we'll actually put it inside. We'll just put it right in the root directory of the public. So I'm sorry, we'll go right into the public. I'm thinking about this on the fly. And we're gonna say npm install hyphen hyphen save um, webpack. So webpack will allow us, like I said, to be able to, in, to import modules and everything. And it should just take a few minutes to install. Wow, this thing's taking forever. I'm, I'm gonna pause it and then I'll continue after it's done. All right, so that's finally done installing. Let's go ahead and install now Babel. So we say hyphen hyphen save and then Babel. All right, now we need to install, and I'm gonna paste this in because I don't wanna mess it up. And I'll let you guys see it, but we're saying uh, hyphen hyphen, and I'm gonna put this as save, I'm sorry. So npm install hyphen hyphen save babel cli, which is command line interface, babel preset react. So both of those have to be installed. And for anybody that doesn't know, Babel is used to be able to take some of the latest standards of JavaScript, like using ES 2015, things like um, that are brand new, like classes, arrow functions, constants, and a lot of other things like promises. Uh, these are all new features of JavaScript that older browsers don't support. But what Babel allows you to do is to code in modern day JavaScript, but have it work on older browsers so you don't have to worry about trying to make it backwards compatible. So it actually does quite a bit for you in that regard, but it does make it a little bit harder to initially set up all this stuff because there's gonna be an extra compilation step where we're writing code one way and then using Babel and Webpack to compile it down to a different version that actually gets loaded into the browser. So eventually this kind of stuff will make sense, but unfortunately this is the modern day direction of the, you know, the current JavaScript ecosystem of developers. And once again, this is a big install, so I'm gonna pause it for a moment. All right, so that's now installed. So now I wanna go ahead and install actual React. 
So we'll say hyphen hyphen save again. We're going to say React, and then we're also going to say React DOM. And those are two separate projects. That's another thing that React has done as of late is that they uh, broke out their DOM rendering project into its own separate React DOM project. Uh, the reason for that is because they also have another project, which is React Native, which allows you to write React code uh, in this component-based system that we're going to look at. Um, but it allows it to um, work with a React Native project, which is geared towards actual native development for Android and iOS phones. All right, now finally we're going to install npm uh, install hyphen hyphen save and then we're going to do redux and then react redux and this is two separate projects redux can be used for uh, different applications not just uh, react applications and then react redux simplifies the process of bringing those two projects together so that it makes it easier to build a react and redux project All right, so that should end the video. That should be all the NPM installs that we need to do at the moment. I may have missed one, and if I did, it's just going to be the same simple process that we followed so far to NPM install all this stuff. And I know it's all confusing as far as why it's all needed, uh, but hopefully that will all start coming together as we start using it. But it, it, trying to explain it verbally, I think, is just going to lose people. So if you guys can just continue to follow along, I think in the, in the upcoming tutorials, a lot of this stuff will start to make sense as to what we're doing with everything. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Please upvote, share, and subscribe. Bye. Hey, guys, so a lot of you asked me, how do I get my foot in the door to become a programmer? And I just want to take a moment to mention Dev Mountain Coding Bootcamp is a 12-week intensive course that focuses on the technologies of the here and now for web development. Uh, some of the things that they're actually teaching in this 12-week course, it's geared to get you into the, the industry by focusing on things like jQuery, Node.js, React, Angular, how to use GitHub. So a lot of the things that you're going to need to do as a developer, as soon as you start, they're going to be teaching you in this in this coding boot camp. And the entire goal is to be able to get you into the industry within 12 weeks. So if you guys are interested in learning more information about Dev Mountain Coding Boot Camp, just check out the link in the description tab of this video. Thank you for watching and have a good day.